Hey everybody, hi, I hope you're having a fabulous Friday. I'm stopping in just to say howdy and to encourage you as you are entering into the weekend. I'm really excited because next Saturday is the Women's Summit that I am privileged to be a part of. We have 20 fabulous speakers and leaders, all women, that we are having, we have this incredible opportunity. Les Brown has put together a virtual women's summit and we all get to speak at it. So I'm so excited and I hope you will check that out. It will be streaming from his site, his, well, his Facebook page, Les Brown, and, and others and it'll be on mine. I'll be sharing it on mine. So there'll be plenty of options for you to be able to plug into social media somehow and be a part of it. But for what I'm going to be talking about, I am going to be talking about not quitting. Because throughout my life, I have many, have had many, many opportunities to not quit. And so I want to share just a little bit with you today about not quitting. And I want to reference a master builder from history. And his name is Nehemiah. And you can find him in the Old Testament. And Nehemiah had been commissioned to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And that was quite an undertaking. But him and his team got together and they got busy working. Here's the thing. The walls of, of Jerusalem had been knocked down. And all that was left was rubble and ruin. That's all they had to rebuild the walls plus a dream. And they got to work because that was more than enough. But the entire time they're building, right, they are constantly being heckled and jarred. People saying things like, that is going to be a weak wall. That wall is going to fall down. You can't build a wall out of rubbish. These kind of things. But the scripture doesn't tell us that Nehemiah and his buddies or his team packed up and said, I guess we should quit or that when the wall was finished that it was weak. In fact, it says the opposite. It says the wall was strong and it says that their work was accelerated. So God accelerated their work. Now, there's more. The scripture says that God gave Nehemiah and his team a mind to work and strong hands. This is a powerful dynamic combination. And I want you to know today that you have a mind to work. You've been given one. And that means a mind to build. It means a mind to strategize and to stay focused. So I want to encourage you, whatever it is that you're wanting to build, go build that wall right now. <laughs> go and do it. Build your online business. Build your team. Build your email list. Go out and transform people's lives. Go help people. Whatever it is that you need to do, you have been given a mind to do it and you can just jump on in and go for it. You also have been given strong hands. Yeah, do you know what that means? It means that they're equipped to do whatever you need them to. So if you need to learn a new computer program or you're like me, stumbling around trying to figure out apps for this and that or maybe it's a book you need to write maybe it's a wall you need to paint i don't know you are more than able you are up for the task and on top of that just like nehemiah your work will be accelerated now there's one more thing i want to mention and that is my favorite part of the story of nehemiah and the walls you see, not only was he ridiculed day and night, but people were constantly creating problems to try to get him to stop building. Circumstances, problems, naysayers, you name it. Nehemiah and his team dealt with it. I can relate to that. But do you know what Nehemiah said to the circumstances and to the problems and to the naysayers? You might want to write this down because it's pretty powerful. He said, I am doing a great work and I will not come down. In essence, that means 
I believe what I'm doing is great. I believe this is my purpose. And you know what? No, I'm not stopping no matter what. I believe this needs to be our mindset and our heart cry right now is that we're not stopping. We're not coming down, right? So it's your time today. Today is your time. So why not make that quality choice, that decision, that whatever it is that is, is on your heart to do, that you're going to run after it and you're going to do it. And your work will be excelled. It will be accelerated. Your wall will be built. And so that's what I wanted to come on. And I just want to encourage you today to go build and to go do. You are amazing. You have a purpose by design. God has great plans for you. Continue to be the salt and the light everywhere you go. And I will talk to you very soon. Blessings.